Good morning. Welcome to St. Paul's Lutheran Family. I'm Chad Avenick, pastor here at St. Paul's. And welcome to worship virtually on, on YouTube. We'll be recording these services and uploading them every Sunday morning while public gathering of worship is suspended. And this time as we begin worship, I invite you to remember in prayer those who are ill, those who work in professions and vocations like in retail, grocery stores, in healthcare, all those who are at the aisle of this storm. We begin worship with the confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who is present, who gives life, who calls into existence the things that do not exist. If you were to keep, keep watch over sins, O Lord, who could stand? Yet with you is forgiveness, and so we can. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned away from you, knowingly and unknowingly. We have wandered from your resurrection life. We have strayed from your love for all people. Turn us back to you, O God. Give us new hearts and right spirits, that we may find what is pleasing to you and dwell in in your house forever. Amen. Receive the good news. God turns to you in love. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, says our God. All your sin is forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the free and abounding gift of God's grace for you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. We now continue with the Kyrie, Kyrie Eleison. By your gracious life and death for us, bring light into the darkness of our hearts, and anoint us with your Spirit. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our psalm today is the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures, and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. 
Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Holy Gospel to not John, the ninth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he has said this, Jesus spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva, and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. Then he went and washed, and came back able to see. The neighbors and all those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, it is he. Others were saying, no, but it's somebody like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, then how were your eyes open? He answered, the man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes, and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also began to ask him how he had received his sight. He said to them, He put mud on my eyes, then I washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not observe the Sabbath. But others said, How can a man who is a sinner perform such signs? And they were divided. So they said again to the blind man, What do you say about him? It was your eyes he opened. He said, He is a prophet. The Jewish leaders did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they called the parents of the man who had received his sight and asked them, Is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he see now? His parents answered, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind, but we do not know how it is that he now sees, nor do we know who opened his eyes. Ask him. He is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that anyone who confessed Jesus to be the Messiah, would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore, his parents said, 
years of age, asking. So, for the second time, they called the man who had been blind, and they said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered, I don't know whether he's a sinner. One thing I do know, that though I was blind, now I see. They said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? Then they reviled him, saying, you are his disciples, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses, but as for this man, we do not know where he comes from. The man answered, Here is an astonishing thing. You do not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but... He does listen to one who worships and obeys his will. Never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a person born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered him, You were born entirely in sins, and you are trying to teach us? And they drove him. Jesus heard that they had driven him out, and when he found them, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, And who is he, sir? Tell me, so that I may believe in him. Jesus said to him, You have seen him. The one speaking to you is he. He said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Jesus said, I came into this world for judgment, so that those who do not see may see, and those who do see may become blind. Some of the Pharisees near him heard this and said to him, Surely we're not blind, are we? Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would not have sinned. But now that you say, we see, your sin remains. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. 